everybody, welcome to my summer KOL presentation. Today, I am going to talk about computers and how you can build one yourself. Firstly, there are two types of computers, laptops and desktops. I'm using a laptop right now, and you can find desktops at offices and factories. Also, now let's talk about laptops. But they are less powerful and more expensive. Also, they are very difficult to repair and to upgrade it yourself. Now let's talk about the desktop. They offer better performance than laptops. Also, you can build and customize it as you need. But they are more heavier and requires more space. And also requires more income variables such as mouses, keyboards, mousepads, and a monitor. Now, I'll teach you how to build a desktop computer. We are going to talk about the components of our desktop. First, there is the CPU, which is a processor, which used to process everything in a desktop. Second, there is the RAM, which are the memory for the computer. Then, there is the motherboard holds everything in place. Then there is the GPU. It is for displaying. Then there is the PSU. It provides power to the computer. Then there is the SSD. It is for storage. Lastly, there is the PC case, which affects the look of the computer. Okay, step one. Socket on top of the motherboard. Then place it according to the indicator. Step two: put the RAM in the motherboard by finding the RAM socket. Thirdly, you put the motherboard in the PC case or PC chassis. You put it with the screws. Step four: you add the SSD and the HDD. the CPU cooling for cooling down the CPU to prevent overheating inside the case. Step 7. You need to check all screws in the PC case to make sure it is stabilized. Step 10. Plug the case from USB lines onto the motherboard. Step 11, which is the last step. You need to close the computer case, then Connect the monitor with the HDMI or VGA cable. And you connect the keyboard and mouse to the USB ports on the motherboard. Last, you're done! Congratulations, you made your first computer yourself. I hope you find this video useful and I hope you make your first computer successfully.